All right, we've been hitting the button for like an hour and it keeps kicking me back. We're gonna keep trying. Apparently they're having issues. And uh, there's some hilarious comments on Facebook. So while I sit here and I click this and things don't work, now it's getting fa it's getting faster that it's kicking me back. Oh, it went through! It went through! Uh, oh, oh, I got it. Ha. What is up, everybody? My name is Dane Thompson. Welcome back to another episode of Burn Down. So, got a few things to show you guys and share with you. If you watched the, watched the last episode, I fixed the torque converter spacing, so go check it out. You probably have questions, but I got it fixed. Um, I deleted the other video that I made because I had some misinformation on there, and, and I'm not here to confuse you guys. I'm here to try to help and help myself. So let me show you where we're at, and then uh, this is what we're working on today. But we got the motor back in. Um, I clearanced this, not because I was afraid it would rub through, because I figure if I hit a hard bump, these are brittle because it's cast aluminum and if it was contacting and say I hit a pothole or something stupid and the suspension bottomed out for some reason, I could see that breaking. So I saved myself the headache since I had to pull everything back out. But the engine's mounted back up, transmission's mounted, converter's all bolted up, everything is good to go. Got to pull the engine plate off of there. Um, it's waiting for the compressor to fill up. We're going to blow the, make sure there's no dust and stuff in the intake runners or whatever in the bolt. The intake back on, but today... We are playing with the front bumper. So this is the original one, if you guys remember, um, and I cut it all up to fit the um, original intercooler. So we cut into it here, and then the intercooler hang, hung down, and it looked like it kind of like a big buck tooth. And it worked, it was giant, it was big. It hung down past the bumper, and we got one that's a little more tidy. So I don't know if I've showed you guys this or not, but this is a four inch. Uh, just a CX racing, nothing too special. It does, it protrudes a little bit in here, so I'll have to space the, the radiator. I think that we've covered that. Um, but nothing is touching here underneath. I just pulled this out. We bent it out a little bit and shaved everything down. And then we made little standoffs. Uh, side note, which is funny, if you do mount something like this, I got lazy and I was like, oh, I'll just stick them here and stick it. Well, now I got to pull this whole grill to get this out. So hindsight's 20-20. If I ever have to fix something or have downtime, I'm gonna cut these and then make them bolt on, I think. And then I could actually pull these out and pull this down because right now I can't get this thing out uh, through the top. So kind of engineered myself into a corner, but I figure I shouldn't be pulling that thing off and on that much really hopefully anyway. So hopefully it just stays there. But the new challenge today is to make this fit the car. So obviously we're not going to run that. Um, <laughs> I've got all thread. I want to actually reclaim this. I'm going to cut this off, put this back in my drawer. But when I put the bumper on initially, that was what I had because all my pipes and stuff wouldn't clear. Um, so yeah, these are some expensive, expensive mounts that I made out of all thread. And then we'll throw that back in the pile. But I think what we'll do is we'll keep these plates. So we'll cut the all thread off. We'll stick these plates kind of back on the car. Um, Heck, I don't even know if I'll need to do that one. I could probably just put this here, this here, and then I have to punch holes in the fiberglass one. So here's a look at this. This is an unlimited products, fiberglass, chingadera, nothing too fancy, special. Um, it's all right, I would say for the money. You know, this thing is kind of crooked the way it's cut, but you could get all fancy and, you know, do whatever you gotta do. The finish isn't really terribly great see i'm limited but it's a freaking bumper that we're just covering stuff up with so we're gonna stick this bad boy on here so we'll kind of tentatively mount it i think i got some tape we'll just see if tape will hold this thing in place so we'll do that and then um before i do that i guess i want to take these out and i think that will slip over it hopefully and then we can punch these holes one there one there 
and then I don't know how we're gonna mount it on the side or whatever if we're just gonna do maybe one here one here on that thing oh, I guess we can't because there's nothing here huh so we'll do the one here we can come off here somewhere and then we'll figure out how to stabilize maybe we will throw one out we could actually probably do a twofer we can have it come out because these things I don't have anything hooked up here um, so maybe we can mount and stiffen that make a strut or something for that today too so that way we kind of get the jiggle off of all this stuff so <laughs> So it's just not flapping going down the road uh, at 140, 30 miles an hour. So, all right, let's get cooking. All right, I got the super sweet race mount off. And my my <laughs> all thread storage. Uh, so yeah, there's that. And then I think what we will do, see if this will work. I think it fits. I think I've done this, but bear with me. Well, of course it's wrong way. I think this will slide over. Oh, look at that, like a little bumper cover. Kinda, maybe, sorta. Uh, yeah. Watch me break the fiberglass bumper. Well, kinda fits. So we'll just ballpark it. Maybe we'll just get a measurement. We can mark these on the inside. Cause I'd like to maybe pilot hole the thing. And then I think what we'll do is we'll do one here and then one kinda on the edge, like the stock bumper. And then they have this bracket. I'll have to see if that kind of fits out in the corner because that's supposed to kind of go in the corner here. So this might be cool to just reuse and stuff in the corner and we'll see how we go. So let me mess with it, mark it. Obviously I know these holes for sure to hold it up. And I think what we'll do is maybe we'll just wait. We'll do these, that'll hold it. And then we can support it after it's on the car and figure out um, a good way to do that. <laughs> All right, well, that took entirely too long. And um, I do have to say, I do not pride myself on my welds, but man, these are some gems uh, that I put to hold that bumper on. Anyways, I guess it held in place, right? That's the point. So we got these off. So, ooh, that was loud, sorry about that. Uh, we'll bolt these to the frame and that'll give me a spot to kind of shoot for. And then, once those are bolted, I think we'll use these to back um, the bumper. So this piece would essentially live back here. So that's how we're gonna hang it. This this is like the, the bracket, if you will. So uh, let me mount these up and then I'll punch holes in this. I measured tentatively where this is. So we'll put pilot holes. And then I got some pretty cool hardware. I'll show you guys the hardware we're gonna use on this. So we'll punch holes get these things to hang on the back of here uh, we'll put those on the car and then we can hang this up with tape or something and figure out the distance that we need to span it um, and I got some material so yeah keep on rolling let's go all right I drilled a couple holes this thing is really light duty so it's just some quarter 20 we'll probably put you know four mounting it up it doesn't weigh nothing so hopefully that's more than enough and then these will back it and we got big washers and then I'll show you what we got I thought they looked pretty cool. Um, it's a little finishing piece with a countersunk. So it kind of looks like the original dude, like these. But I didn't want to, I thought these were ugly, so yeah. But yeah, and then I got a washer behind it so these don't dig into the, the actual fiberglass. It's just kind of for, to, for a finishing look, if you will. Look at that, fancy. So I'm gonna tape this on, I'm gonna try to tape it in place. And then we've got our little mounts on the back. We got mounts there. We'll just have to figure out the distance. And then I've got some um, tubing, some DOM that's like 3 8 or something like that. And we'll just span the distance. And then once it's in place, then I can reinforce it. And we have a bumper, uh, although I have no idea how to put those things in. And this guy is on fire. Hey, 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 what is your deal? Fluff nuts, look at you. What is your deal? I turn right in and I say hi to everybody. Look how big he's getting. You getting big? You getting big? Yeah, he's a big boy. All right, you big pain in the butt. Back to work. <laughs> All right, and we're done. There you go. Uh, wrap the video. I'll just take extra yellow tape with me. <laughs> we will be good, right? All right, so I think that is about where it's gonna live. I think I'm happy with that. There's supposed to be a splash guard that goes in here, but uh, we're just gonna skip that and then the, the plumbing 
you know, we'll cruise around. So you'll see it a little bit, but I'm okay with it. Maybe we could paint the plumbing black to kind of hide it a bit. But all in all, uh, I think it looks good. It looks good for what we're doing. Better than the toothless bumper that we had. And then it's, you know, pretty straight on the car. So it'll finish it up. We'll be good. And then when I get it all mounted, we can clearance everything, you know, so nothing's touching and all that good stuff. So now we'll just get the distance from this portion to the pad up there, which is fairly straightforward. Uh, we'll try to measure on both sides and keep it as straight as we can. And then we'll try to get it, like I said, where it's rubbing on stuff. Um, granted, this thing's super light. It's not going to do no damage to nothing. But yeah, we'll try to at least clearance the thing. I guess if anything, we'll just wear my bumper out. But uh, if we can stand it off a little bit, we'll be good to go. Oh, look at that. Things pretty well see-through. Well, that's not good. All right, there she is. We took the tape off. Uh, there's some adjustment to be made, but all in all, it's a race car. This is way better. The other bumpers I tilted out and it was all cut out. But what I'm going to do now before we finalize stuff, is I'm actually going to take the bumper off but leave the mounts in place. So I'm just going to undo these little screws and then take it off. And then we need to make sure that we have enough clearance for all the, the plumbing. So I just want to double check that. And then it looks like it's pretty well in, in the spot it should go in. See, boop, just plugs in. So... I think we kind of nailed it for the most part. And again, this is a 64 bumper, I believe. And these are 65 fenders, and it's a 64 grill. And then that's a Morphodite hood over there. So this whole thing is a hodgepodge. If we ever have to do this again for any crazy reason, I'm gonna do a single piece fiberglass and uh, we'll just make life hopefully easier next to go around. But let's pull the bumper off, make sure we have room for plumbing. We can weld everything up, put it back on, and then we'll put the supports on because I'm not as much worried about the supports as I am this portion because um, I don't want that mount to be in the way. If it is, we're going to have to rethink it and bend stuff. But let's uh, pull it off. I think we got room. So these are the mounts. Um, yeah. So look at that. Bam. So we got plenty of room. Might have to trim that little guy up. But it looks like we got plenty of room for the plumbing because we had to come around and then uh, head up over that way. And then over here, same thing. <laughs> it's funny this guy had to tilt it a little bit so it landed but yeah so see there we go i was eyeballing it from down here but when you're looking at an angle i just wanted to double check and then again it looks like i might as well just cut these dudes off right now actually so we'll weld this we'll trim those off and then um that thing needs some bracing too so we'll we'll tack weld or weld these all up i should say and then uh, we'll cut these guys and then put the bumper back on. And then these things actually have adjustments. So we'll kind of, and then these holes are real big. So we'll kind of square it up to where I really dig it. And then uh, we'll see if we can maybe kind of kill two birds with one stone. Maybe we'll have to put one on the edge of this uh, just to keep it from rocking like this Whoa, when you're going fast. And then maybe we can do uh, one of these guys from here over there too or something so all right well here she is um i didn't get the extensions or anything done but all in all i'm happy with it it looks like we got a car the bumper looks to be somewhat in the right spot for what it is we might have to get a little piece and tuck some stuff but like i said i think the pipe the pipes will go in there and then we can just paint them black and that that should kind of fill in the gap but all in all for what it is um i think it's awesome we'll get some extensions and stuff and stiffen up the fenders and all that stuff but you guys don't really need to see that so that is that i am excited uh hopefully we can keep making progress the fab stuff just takes forever but once you fab it up it's easy to pull apart and put together but luckily um my whole hot side is actually sitting on the ground right here so we're gonna run that uh we'll put the new wastegate i believe i'll just we'll mount this stuff up and we'll get an eyeball for that um, and then we'll figure out exhaust. I've got the loud valve we'll integrate. I've got dual exhaust. We're gonna run that all the way out to the back. So it'll be a single into two, three inch. And I think it will help it breathe and hopefully calm it down so it's not so loud. We'll take the exhaust all the way out the back and give it the best chance to get the hell out of the cabin of the car. And then, um, so that'll do that. And then we gotta do a whole new cold side plumbing. We got the intercooler mounted. So we're making progress. 
um, but we're not quite there. And then the other things on the list, we want to address the brakes, control arm bushings, which are terrible, but we can do that after it runs, uh, wiring before we do any of that fun stuff. So we'll finish it up, we'll wire it, fire it, and then we can address brakes, control arm bushings, and then gremlins and go from there. Oh, and maybe tires. All right. I'm going to quit listing stuff off before I depress myself. You guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, share. Till next time, I'm out. <laughs>